KSI got a controversial decision over Logan Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Remstar Says So. So let's get right into this one, guys. It's been about three weeks since I made my last video. I have been sicker than a motherfucker. So, sorry guys, if you've missed me, if you've missed the content of this channel, I've been fucked up. But yeah, let me do a few boxing recaps. It is Sunday the 17th of November, early morning, well it's nearly afternoon here in the UK. Uh, let's get into this one. KSI versus Logan Paul. The rematch, the money grabbing, the money spinning job that Eddie Hearn said that he was never going to get into. Eddie Hearn criticized the first fight, said that it was a load of bollocks. But, you know, when the when the option came to put this on Sky Sports pay-per-view and keep his little boss, yes man, happy at the zone, he jumped at the opportunity. He saw two YouTubers with massive followings and thought to himself, you know what? I want a piece of this. I want my 20% from either fighter. And he stuck this on Sky Sports pay-per-view and put it on DAZN. And fair play to him. From what I've been told, this has been DAZN's most... It's been DAZN's most uh, watched fight with the most sign-ups and the most money generated. So who knows, maybe KSI and Logan Paul will probably sign professional long-term contracts with Matchroom Boxing and just keep the money rolling for Eddie Hearn. Especially if Anthony Joshua looks like he's about to um, get his ass handed to him again. But yeah, let's get into this one. KSI versus Logan Paul. It was a fight made with controversy. It had my favourite referee, <laughs> Jack Reese. And once again, Jack Reese has um, sort of smeared his name in controversy again. Jack Reese to me is the worst referee who's ever refereed a fight. He fucked up Wilder versus Fury with that late count. He fucked up Errol Spence versus Sean Porter, and he fucked this one up again. Jack Reese somehow managed to find two points to deduct off of Logan Paul in that fight for absolutely nothing. I couldn't imagine, couldn't see why. But yep, the fight ended in a split decision win for KSI. Two of the judges scored it for KSI. Judge Lou Moritz scored it 56-55. Judge Patrick Russell scored it 57-54. And Zachary Young scored it 56-55. During that fight, I think KSI dropped Logan Paul. And Logan Paul also dropped KSI. But from what I'm seeing, it looks like Jack Reese said that Logan Paul, when he dropped KSI, I believe he's trying to say that he deducted points because Logan Paul hit KSI when he was on the floor or some BS like that. I don't really know. Um, the thing is, is that Jack Reese is the worst referee that the world has ever seen. And I just hope that one day these governing bodies just take this guy's boxing referee and license away from him because to me, he's just a scumbag who fucks up fights time and time and time again. I, I'm so done with Jack Reese. I just hope and pray that, you know, one day everybody else can see what I'm seeing because all I ever see is Jack Reese just fucking things up. And to me, he's the worst referee I've ever seen in my life. Um, I hope and pray he's not involved for Wilder Ortiz or Wilder versus Fury 2 because you just know there's going to be a lot of controversy on that one as well. So, yeah, fuck Jack Reese. Uh, what did I think of the fight? I mean, it is what it is. Like, these guys, they're, I mean, they signed professional contracts, but they're not professional fighters. They haven't had amateur backgrounds. I mean, yeah, KSI has had a couple of white-collar fights, and Logan Paul had the one against KSI, but these are not exactly world-level or ever going to be world level professional boxers that are gonna set up the boxing world alight. But it is what it is. We're talking about two guys that have got 22 million and 20 million respectively followers on YouTube. Now, if you compare it to myself, I started this channel towards the end of January and I think I've got about 56. So, you know, they these guys probably make about 10,000 subscribers a day or something like that. Um, I'm just a nobody who likes to voice his opinion and clearly, judging by the success and the growth of this channel 
and most of you probably think I'm full of shit, but it is what it is. I just like to state my case. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Um, would I like to see KSI versus Logan Paul again? Yes, why not, with a better referee, but only in the UK. I mean, I didn't watch the fight live. Uh, from what I'm hearing, the fight didn't start until about five o'clock in the morning, and there's only very few fights that would make me want to stay up that late. And KSI versus Logan Paul definitely wasn't one of them. So, yeah, would I like to see a rematch? Yeah, fuck it, why not? The first fight was a draw. The second fight, you can make an argument and say, with a better referee, maybe Logan Paul wins. From what I've been told, KSI has said that he doesn't want a rematch, but fuck it, why not? I mean, it's a good money-spinning little exercise that he can do. Do not believe any of the hype of what you've read. From what I've seen, these two had guaranteed purses of 900k. Absolute bollocks. Like, to me, like maybe that's the, maybe that's the guaranteed money. They were going to be getting upside on ticket sales, probably upside on the zone sign-ups. They're getting pay-per-view upside. Don't be surprised if both of these men walked away with anything from about 10 to 15 million dollars, maybe even pounds for this fight, because it was on Sky Sports pay-per-view, I don't know how many countries Eddie Hearn sold the fight to, so it's a hard one to gauge, really, but, yeah, I mean, fuck it, if I was a huge YouTube star, and I had 20 million subscribers, and I could go in the ring and, you know, swing it out with another YouTuber, and get 10 million plus, fuck it, of course I'm gonna do it, are you mad? <laughs> so, you know, I'm not hating on Logan Paul and KSI. Uh, do I think that either of these guys are going to go on to achieve anything in a boxing ring? No, but, you know, they're big draws. These guys can continue to fight on pay-per-view. Who knows, maybe Al Heyman signs up Logan Paul, or maybe even KSI, and, you know, has one of these guys fighting on Fox pay-per-view or um, Showtime pay-per-view. You never know. But for me, I think the fight was just sort of marred with controversy. And I think any time that Pig and Jack Reese is involved in any sort of fight, there's always going to be a shitload of controversy because, in my opinion, he is the worst referee of all time. But, you know, we've got two YouTubers that stepped in the ring. I'm not going to be one of those guys that hate and say it's a disgrace to box in because most of these little idiots on the internet are saying that it's a disgrace to box in. I would say probably 90% of these guys would never lace up a pair of gloves and climb in a boxing ring, whether for sparring or in a competitive fight. So it is what it is. I take my hat off to these guys. They've made a lot of money. Um, and you know what? They deserve it. They've um, sort of leveraged their brand to get to where they want to be. So salute to KSI and salute to Logan Paul. In my opinion, they're both winners. Because if Logan Paul, even though he lost the fight, wanted to fight somebody else again for a lot of money, he's got the name, he's got the draw, and he's got the credibility. So I don't see why if Logan Paul wants to continue boxing, he can't. Same thing with KSI. Um, I think I've seen that Huey Fury, not Huey Fury, Tommy Fury has laid the gauntlet out for KSI to fight him. I think that would be suicide for KSI if he got in the ring with Tommy Fury. If KSI wants to keep fighting, he needs to keep fighting YouTubers. Maybe we see KSI versus, I don't know, who's a famous YouTuber. I don't even know. I don't really follow people like that too tough. Maybe KSI versus Boxing with Ade. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Fuck it. Why not? Boxing with Ade versus KSI. Let's make that a thing. I don't actually have a Twitter account, but if you guys do... Let's get this one going. Boxing with Ade versus KSI. Two YouTubers. Um, I'm sure KSI would probably want 99% of um, the pay-per-view money and all the revenue. But Boxing with Ade is not stupid. That's, that 1% is probably still a lot of money. So, fuck it. Yeah, KSI versus Boxing with Ade. Two Nigerians. Maybe they should go back to Nigeria and take this one there. Uh, I'm sure there'd be a huge crowd for that. Do Nigerians actually follow KSI? I don't know, but you know, the black Nigerian community, if there's money to be made, I'm sure there's sure some interest. Or why don't we do this in Wembley Stadium, KSI versus Boxing with Ade. I like the sound of that one. Um, so yeah, let's get that one going. I mean, if both of these guys want to continue boxing, I've got no issue with that. I just don't think they should be fighting traditional professional boxers because I think either of them will get laid out, but who knows, who knows. 
Maybe KSI could go and beat a journeyman that Eddie Hearn's got laying around. Who knows? But yeah, I don't know. I mean, if KSI did step into the ring with Tommy Fury, uh, I mean, I would definitely watch it. I don't know about the rest of you guys. And if I was a betting man, I'd definitely be putting all the money on Tommy Fury. And if KSI somehow found a way to win, I'd be calling for the biggest fix since fixes were invented. But such is life. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts. I know this video is late. As I said, I was really sick for a while. So leave me a comment. Hit like, hit subscribe, share this video. Also, guys, press the bell icon. Now that I'm feeling better, I'm going to try and put a couple of videos out. Uh, today and during the week as well so you're going to be hearing a lot more from Remstar says so so yeah press that bell icon so you can get notified every time something comes out from this channel um, that's the end of the show thanks for watching because Remstar says so